Well, good afternoon everyone um, to another one of my quick little musings, um, cup of tea. Uh, my wife is actually out on the, the ocean doing a sailing course, um, so I'm trying to keep my mind off that. Um, I'm not a huge fan of water and obviously then my fear of anything bigger than a, a bull um, can easily be kind of subjected onto her. Um, so I'm trying not to think about the fact that she's out on, on the water. So I thought I would uh, record a, a little musing. Um, although she did on the sailing course yesterday get cracked on the head uh, by the boom, the boom, the big long thing. Um, so I had to go pick her up and look after her in case she was going to have any kind of mild concussion. But she's fine, she's back on the water, so hopefully no uh, problems today. Um, this is really just a, a very quick update and it's a little bit of a, I guess, a sad update. Uh, maybe tinged with a bit of, um, you know, happiness or hope um, from the landscape uh, photographer uh, community. Um, a landscape photographer uh, who I have followed um, for a long time, uh, a chap called Mark uh, Elliott, um, unfortunately was involved in a motorbike accident uh, not too long ago, um, pretty serious ones by the signs of things, and he has unfortunately lost uh, part of one of his legs. Um, just really uh, kind of sobering thought and first and foremost my uh, thoughts and, and prayers are go out to, to Mark and, and to his family. Um, what has been, you know, if, if anything, you know, positive can kind of come out of this is um, how the landscape uh, photographer community has kind of rallied around to do what we can, to do what they can to help out uh, Mark's uh, situation. Um, and so I think there are two things that are happening uh, right now. Um, firstly, there is um, three um, X uh, or three Landscape Photographer of the Year uh, award winners, um, Andy Farrer, uh, Mark Littlejohn and John Gibbs. Um, are organising a crowd crowdfunding or a just giving page um, where you donate um, some some money to that page and then at the end of the um, uh, appeal uh, three winners will be picked at random and they will get to go on a landscape photography workshop um, so they're looking to raise a thousand pounds obviously I'll put all the links in the description below um, so go ahead and uh, donate to that very worthy cause and we'll see what we can raise for Mark and his family. Um, the second thing that is going on and this is actually being organized by John, John Gibbs who is one of his uh, good friends um, is actually a, a print auction um, and basically what it is a number of landscape photographers, some fantastic landscape photographers are donating a print um, and then there will be an auction held over the course of three weeks. And of course, then all the, the proceeds um, will then go towards the fund that we're raising um, for Mark Elliott and his family. Um, and, and I didn't want to, um, you know, do nothing. I'm very um, new to the whole concept of, of printing, um, something that I'll talk about uh, in, a, in a separate uh, vlog. Um, but I wanted to, to do... Um, something so I've actually submitted um, a and I'm bringing the uh, image up uh, now uh, one of my images um, from Kinbane Head, uh, Kinbane Castle um, uh, this is actually a, a very um, kind of personal image uh, for me as well it's an area um, that I, I find myself drawn to quite a lot when I kind of want to just you know be alone with my thoughts and out in the landscape it's it's a it's a fantastic place um and certainly somewhere where um i can kind of just kind of center myself and and just 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 be really um so this is the print that i i have submitted um to the auction um i've sent a couple of 
test images um, off to DS Color Labs. I'm still currently using uh, a third party uh, printing house. Um, I've sent off a couple of prints on, on different types of, of paper and later in the week I'll decide what paper I'm going to finally print. It'll be a, on A3 paper um, uh, print mounted that I'll be donating to this extremely worthy cause. Um, so that's really all that I have to say. I say to a really horrible situation and as I say my thoughts and prayers go out to Mark and his his family. His, his images um, have, have always um, over the last you know year especially as I've really um, you know got back into landscape photography it's been his work uh, amongst other people that I, I've been really inspired by especially his his landscape fragments um, section uh, section on his website there's just I, I love the little kind of intimate details uh, details that you know other photographers and, and people may just pass by or pass over um, so two very worthy um, head on over to the Just Giving page, um, put in a donation and you're in with a chance of picking up a landscape photography workshop by three fantastic uh, landscape um, photographers. Um, or if you yourself are a photographer and you're watching this and you'd like to also uh, donate a print, um, then I'll again put those details um, or who to contact um, in the um, in the show notes before. Um, so again, thoughts and prayers uh, to Mark um, and um, I will perhaps record another uh, vlog when I have got the final print um, ready to send on. Um, so that's it for me. I'm going to go off now and try not to think about my wife uh, out on the water, finish my tea and um, yeah, chill out. All right, take care. Bye-bye.